Hi, this is Irina Slutsky reporting for Geek Entertainment Television on location at Technorati at the 415 party. I have here Gary Vinerchuk, a very, very, very famous wine person from winelibrary.tv. And uh, Gary, before we go on to the wine, I want to clarify something that probably bothers you as much as it bothers me. Right. Often, we tell ignorant people we're from Russia, right. but that's not really true, is it? No, I'm from Belarus, you know, so I, I want every single person to understand that I am not from Russia, I am from Belarus. And I have to say, the way you pronounced my last name was a clear-cut example of you being from the former Eastern Bloc of Europe. That just gave you tingles down your back, didn't it? I feel like I'm at home. Yeah. I'm just going to copy straight from Conan, because yeah. that's where you've been. Yes, uh, I was on Conan and we, uh, we decided to train a pallet. You know, I got involved in my dad's liquor store like all good Russian boys do. And before I could actually taste the juice, I would read about the, you know, articles with the different flavors in wine. And I figured, what better way to uh, be prepared for my 21st birthday than to eat the actual products that are involved in the flavors of wine. See, your, your interest in liquor ended you up in an amazing business. Mine ended me up in jail. Intriguing. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to show wines that, pack, that match up with actual foods. So the first wine we have, you know, is a Riesling Spotlace from Germany at 2005. And what that really tastes like is wet rock and peaches, apricots. So what we need to do, I'm going to give you one. Okay. And I'm going to take one as well. Okay. We're going to take this wet rock. Eddie, where did we get this rock? Dog, the dog patch, San dog Francisco. Patch. Matt, you're going to take the apricot. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna bite the apricot. Okay. We're gonna lick the rock. No, no, that's a little. Oh, get oh. get in there. Okay. There you go. There you go. Mm. So that gives us the apricot and mineral aspect. Okay. That this wine brings to the table. Okay. So here's this wine. Okay. Now I, I have I I like the rock and the apricot, but I'm gonna have a stand-in yep. who's gonna taste the wine for me. Cheers. So, do you want to try the rock and the apricot? No. <laughs> no. I watched her do it. Though. Good, fair enough. So, basically. Yeah? <laughs> so, the, the wine basically brings very mineral and apricot components. I think it's really important for people to realize this may seem ridiculous, but this is absolutely the way where you can start getting, there's no way you can understand what a pizza tastes like if you've never had one. So if you really want to start to understand the integral parts of wine, this is a tremendous way to do it. Okay, All right. let's go on to the next one. Next one's easy, okay. not scary. I'm not scared. Uh -huh. I'm scared of the, <laughs> scared of the scared dirt. Of Apple yes. and pear. Okay. You're very yeah. good so far. Okay. All right. And now it's Pinot Grigio time. Pinot Grigio, very... Now, let's be honest. Pinot Grigio sucks 98% of the time. Santa Margarita, terrible. Lots of things, terrible. But San Lorenzo actually makes a good Pinot Grigio, which thank God because, you know, we're switching glasses just so you know, but I'm not scared. We, we have another stand-in. Tara. <laughs> so... Cheers. Does that taste do you want to, do you want to try, try the apple in the pear? Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, spit. Okay, very good. Apples and pears. Do you smell the apples and pears? I do, I smell do. Alright, let's move on. Yeah. Chocolate. Uh-huh. Get in there. Chocolate and strawberries, which are obviously very appealing. Right. Um, you want to try some strawberries and chocolate first? Be the first no. One. Don't be scared. No. No, fine. Sorry. Drink the wine. Are you the representative? Or? Yeah. Got it. If you want, we can make out so you yeah. can get some. <laughs> Do you get, you get any, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. You weren't eating this dirt. You were eating this dirt. Put it in your mouth. There you go. I also will eat the dirt. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Don't be scared of dirt. Dirt is the key. Okay, listen. He has to eat the dirt. I'm sorry. You have to eat the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you just chew it and then spit it out. Swallow that shit. <laughs> See, now you know how women, we have to swallow many things. Now? that it's got, you know, earthy tone characteristics to this. 
Do you see where that? Yeah. It, it's just yeah. the way it is. Really? I mean, it's true. Mm -hmm. Now I am going to train your palate. You're going to train okay, my palate. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Uh huh. It, yeah. You're gonna have to eat the raw potato, right? Uh -huh. and, then? <laughs> and then drink some vodka. Understood. Because you know, my aunt Lita used to make vodka out of potatoes. Out of potatoes in the bathtub. My Russian uncles are going to be so <laughs> proud of me after this. But they're gonna say, "Why not Grey Goose?" That's what exactly. No, what no. Stolichna is like the real vodka. So. Is it in your palate? Are you enjoying the raw taste of Mother Russia? I like Mother Russia. Russia. All right. Now. <laughs> oh my god. Does it taste like potatoes or french fries? You know, I think I have my I, you know, I've been thinking about a spin-off for Wine Library yeah, TV. Yeah. That's in your show. There it is. Vodka TV. Okay, one more. Ready? Miller Highlight. Miller Highlight a 40. Yeah. Okay. It's actually a bumper. It's a 32 ounce. 32 we ounce. Have this, uh, a pure nice pleasure. Cozy that uh, was uh -huh. made by Dr. Popular cuz we don't want you to hurt your hands. This is a dollar 49? It is a dollar 49. A dollar 49. So, uh, what we want you to do is open your mouth. <laughs> and have a little bit of uh, bar malt powder. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> oh God, Gary, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, somebody bring me some napkins. This is fantastic. <laughs> this is absolutely fantastic. So, how is your palate? Actually, you know what really is shocking? <laughs> It tastes like grape nuts, which I adore so much. <laughs> this is actually one of the better, really? one of the better pairings of product. And uh, I mean, you know what? I'm gonna have a little more vodka after that. <laughs> okay, there uh -huh. you go. Train your parents' palates by uh, Miller High Life and vodka. All you need is some malt <laughs> powder and some potatoes. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. One Library TV. Dot com. Vanilla is pretty bad, right? Yeah. I used to live next to a lady at the trailer park who used to drink that. That's pretty scary. <laughs>